Hello friends, this video on surface area and volumes part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, let's check one more question. Find the cost of digging a cuboidal pit. You are digging a cuboidal pit and the dimensions of the pit are given 8 meter long. Let this be 8 meter long, 6 meter broad and 3, three meter deep all units in meter and the rate is given 30 rupees per meter cube pretty easy so you just find the volume of this pit right if you get the and just understand just try to understand why not to find surface area here why to find volume because the cost of digging is given per meter cube that means we are looking for volume right that is also one hint so first we'll find the volume of pit that is length into breadth into height. So this guy is supposed to dig this pit. So that is 8 into 6 into 3 meter cube. That is the volume of pit and you solve it you get 144 meter cube. So cost of digging 1 meter cube is what? Rupees 30. So cost of digging 144 meter cube will be what? rupees 30 into 144 and that is nothing but rupees 4320 okay pretty easy so you are expected to dug a pit and when you dug a pit it is all in volume because you have to take out some volume of soil right so the rates will be in the volume okay so if you are expected to, to dig a pit then in this kind of scenarios you are talking in the terms of volume because you have to take out soil to dig the pit. Okay. A village having a population of 4000 they requires 150 liters of water per head per day and there are some 4000 people staying in the village. It has a tank of this uh, measurement how many days the water in the tank will last. So if it has a population of 4000 and requires 150 liters of water per day, so per day consumption of water is what? Of water is what? Number of people into 150 liters and that will be in liters. That comes out to be yeah, it is actually 6 lakh liters. That is the consumption per day. And the but the tank is in meter. So this is the tank, this is the village, and the tank dimensions are in meter. So we can we convert this into meters? Yes, we can. So we know that 1000 liter is equal to 1 meter cube. So with that, we can convert this by dividing this by 1000. Meter cube. So what you get is 600 meter. So the per day consumption is 600 meter cube. Okay. What is the tank capacity? Tank capacity is nothing but the volume of the tank. Volume of tank is nothing but length into breadth into height. And that is nothing but 20 into 15 into 6 meter cube. And that is nothing but 1800 meter cube. So per day consumption is 600 meter cube. Tank capacity is 1800 meter cube. How many days it will last? So days it will last is nothing but tank capacity by per day consumption. And that is nothing but 1800 by 600 both meter cube cancel you get 3 days. And that is the answer. 
it easy see typically for example if you have two breads and if you eat one bread per day how many days it will last obviously two days right one day each similarly if you have 1800 meter cube of water and you need 600 meter cube of water per day it will last three days or you just make in this fashion if you have 1800 rupees and daily if you need 600 rupees then in three days your money will get exhausted same concept a solid cube of side 12 cm there is a cube of side 12 cm all 12 is cut into eight cubes of equal volumes we have got eight cubes of equal volumes what will be the side of new cube and what will the ratio between their surface area see to cut into equal this now you have to apply some brain to think you have to cut this into eight cubes to cut this into eight cubes a good way is to cut in this direction. So if you cut in this direction, if you cut in this direction, you'll notice that you'll get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and there's one cube behind. So you get 8 cubes, right? This is all 1, this is all 1, 3, all 2. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is all the same, 6, 7 and there is one cube behind. So this is the way you can cut. So if this side was 12 and this is equal card, this side will be 6 and this side will be 6. So new cube edge will be 6, right? So side of new cube is 6 centimeters. What is the ratio of the surface area? Surface areas. So, surface area of cube large by surface area of cube small. Cube large surface area is what? S uh, 6. Right? 6. 6 a square. 6 into a large square. And this is a 6 into a small square. This is small. This gets cancelled. So a large is what? 12. A small is what? 6. And this by 2. That becomes 4 by 1. So that is the ratio of their areas. If you want to find the ratio of their volumes, that is not given, but ask. But let's find the ratio of their volumes also. So volume of cube large by volume of cube small is nothing but a large cube by a small cube the values 12 by 6 cube and that is nothing but 8 by 1 so the ratio of their volume is 8 by 1 the ratio of their area is 4 by 1 and the ratio of their side is actually 2 by 1 okay a river that is 3 meter deep this is a river there is a river that is flowing Okay, this is 3 meter deep and 40 meter wide. This is a river, this will be 40, 40 meter wide and there is a depth which we can't see here. This is flowing at the rate of 2 km per hour and how much water is fall into the sea in a minute. So if it is a meter here and it is in a kilometer, so we have to first come up with a meter unit here. So that is 2 km I can make it as. 2000 meter per hour how much water will fall into sea in a, in a minute right so one hour is 60 minutes 60 minutes it flows 2000 meter so one minute how much it will flow 2000 by 60 meter that is nothing but 100 by 3 meter so that is this is 100 by 3 so I'll visualize this as a cuboid where 100 by 3 meter is the length, 40 is the width and 3 is the height and this is full of water because this much water will actually flow into sea. The question is that this is the river water. This is the river and this is flowing into sea. This river is 3 meter deep, 40 meter wide and it has a length. length 
we don't know why because the river water is flowing the water is flowing at the speed of 2000 meter per hour that is 100 by 3 meter per minute so in one minute 100 by 3 meter actually flows right so so if you visualize this then this much water will flow that is, is a cuboid which has 100 by 3 meter as the length 40 meter as the width and 3 meters as the height okay so volume of this cuboid is is equal to l into b into h put the values 100 by 3 into 40 into 3 this is meter cube cancel so that is 4000 meter cube 4000 meter cube of water will actually fall into sea so this question is more about visualization if you visualize properly that if the river is 3 meter deep 40 meter wide and it has some rate of flowing so with that rate of flowing you can find the length of water that flows per minute that becomes the length of the cuboid and the width and the height is already given and with that you can actually find the volume of the cuboid and the volume of the cuboid is nothing but the volume of water that will flow from river to sea in that particular time duration. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.